This is PVA blood. Let's make some spent bullet casings. If you've watched my other guides, you'll recognize this technique. We're going to be mass producing bullet casings to help make your terrain and the bases of your minis look like they've experienced a recent firefight. It's cheap, fast, and an easy way to add some detail and storytelling to what would otherwise have been empty space. At the minimum, all you need is some angel hair pasta, and any old paintbrush, as well as either a gold, bronze, or copper paint. No need for priming, as normally you'll be gluing these bullet shells in place using PVA, which is more than enough protection. Don't bother thinning the paint, just apply it directly to your pasta, and you're done. I did leave the tips unpainted to make them easier to handle, and to not waste paint on areas that are probably going to be thrown out anyway. When cut to size, a single strand of pasta will make you a lot of casings, but not enough for a whole battlefield or an army, and not fast enough for my liking, so grab a whole bunch in your hand. Placing them flat and then bracing them against the surface will make it a lot easier to manipulate them whilst you're painting. When drying them, try not to let them touch one another, as there is a risk of them sticking. Not a problem if they do, you can touch them up with more paint, but speed is the goal here. You're going to be cutting pasta with a knife. It's not exactly a science here, but a curved blade generally works better than a Stanley or a hobby knife, but anything sharp will do the job. See how the pasta moves as I cut it? You need a better solution, otherwise you're going to lose all your casings to the Shadow Realm. You are trying to make enough casings for a whole army here, or at least multiple projects. So you're going to want to line all your painted pasta up, and then the unpainted ends, make them as even as possible. And then get out the secret weapon, piece of tape. There you go. A nice rocking cutting motion will uh, help make a whole magazine's worth of shells in a single motion. And you can see why the curved blade works better than a Stanley knife. Stanley knives will just fling them everywhere. But whatever you got will do the job. Nice. And you're done. Don't worry if you've got some different size pieces in there. A battlefield is going to have a whole variety of caliber weapons on it. Cool. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, I've got an Instagram. Check it out.